wayside. Some would get almost to the top and quit. But if you made it to the top, they'd raise your hand and say, you are. We fall down. We I tend to say that I'm so Dallas, Texas, that I should be the logo. <laughs> Both my parents are from Nigeria. My journey to music and hip hop kind of started with Al Green, to be honest. I wanted to do something music related, but I, I sucked at dancing, wasn't good at like singing, so I found myself rapping. Already just hit the bottom, I'm guessing the only way is up. We talking problems, my homie, you know we got enough. Even though we counting up, I got to make us touch. Nothing to lose, there ain't nothing they can take from us. Boy. I'm a rap because I want people to think I'm cool. So that's kind of how it started for me. Found a new group of friends and we just, all we did was just like hang out and freestyle. We never wrote our raps, we just like, we're just spitting fun freestyles and like talking about weird stuff all the time. It was just fun to do. He ain't even tripping. Take the flow and let me finish. Back in Cali, going back to Texas, riding in the city in my grandmama's Lexus. Yeah. <laughs> but when I gave my life to God, I was like, oh man, like rapping was a part of my old life. So. Maybe I shouldn't rap anymore. But then as I started seeking God more and learning more about Him and experiencing who He is, I started realizing like, not only does God want me to do the things that I like, like He delights in the fact that I'm being immersed in the things that I love, like that gives Him joy. And I was able to like take the things that I love and give God the glory with that. So. God wants us to dream and God has given us dreams and that we can use our talents and our giftings to give God the glory. I'm rolling with the click of some soldiers in bad times. Well, all right, well, all right. You know we down for whatever matter of fact. I told my team we've never been better. But I didn't even talk. I got to talk about how I met this man. I got to get this man in there. Uh, we met because he was uh, working at a church and I got asked to rap at that church. When we did this camp together and he asked me, I, I was very reluctant to do it because like, I just, I'm not comfortable on stage. And so I gave him some of my music and we just boom, bounced back and forth and we did it just so natural, so off the cuff. And I was like, bro, I need you to be my DJ. <laughs> I don't think, I realized like, I haven't really worked with anybody who I'm this, in line with as far as our vision and what we want to accomplish. There's no other way to explain it but God like just putting things together, like connecting certain dots so that um, we could get to this moment right here. Man, yo Jesus take the wheel, I'm switching lanes, doing a hundred down a highway, trying to find my way. And then now we're here. I just released my fourth album and it charted on top 100 on iTunes. Uh, it's called Kingdom of the Fallen. It just did, it did really well, like out in my city. And this is the takeover, man. We are coming to be great, man. We just wanna inspire people to do it better than we do. I'm hoping that one day a kid tells me like, man, Moses, I saw you and DJ OC rapping and I became a DJ and now I'm touring all over the country. I mean, glory to God if that were to happen. It's your power, it's your glory forever. It's your people can see who God is through the things that we love to do. I didn't even know that was real, you know what I'm saying? And so through that is why I make the music, is I want people to delight themselves in the Lord and their giftings, you know what I'm saying? We fall down, we get up when we fall down. We get up when we fall down. We get up, we get up, we get up. Now you sure that was good, bro? I felt like maybe I was getting long-winded, man.